we're going to go through every step to create this gorgeous looking book cover. OK, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to need is a stock image. Now, in this case, we're going to use Adobe Stock. So that's uh, stock.adobe.com. Uh, I've searched for UV Light Woman, but you a bit random, I know. Uh, but you could find anything else in context. Um, I'm going to mention this time and time again in tutorials. Always, if you're using stock footage, always check the terms and conditions for the site. Be really careful. Some of these things you can use in ebooks, but you can't use in paperbacks, etc. So double check. Okay, so now we've got the image. That one, by the way, was about six or seven quid. Um, we're going to go to our Adobe uh, CS6 and we're going to dump the file in and we're going to position it centrally to the page. Now I formatted this page um, to be um, 130 by 200, I believe it was millimetres, um, to, uh, to replicate a paperback uh, size. Position the, the cover relevant to the, uh, <clears throat> the artboard. Normally, if you're changing anything with um, with any vector art, or certainly an image, you want to maintain the aspect. So scale with pressing shift down. But in this case, I just need it to be a little bit longer, so I'm not too worried about shifting the um, the aspect too much. Okay, so that's the image central as the finished paperback um, cover size. Now, for this purpose, I'm not going to get involved with um, trim size. Um, or any bleeding or anything like that, you could work that out uh, yourself depending on, um, on which um, uh, publish, you know, pr uh, print on demand you're using. Okay, so the first thing then, after the image is in, we're going to put the title in. So in this case, we picked it as uh, Neon. There we go, and it's in this Euro style font here. So position that somewhere in the middle, roughly this, the right sort of size. And we're going to zoom in, so just pressing Z. And then we're going to take this text object, um, expand the appearance. So now it's no longer a font, it's actually just uh, vector lines. Ungroup it. So now they are each separate individual object. Then pressing Shift down to uh, make sure it slides horizontally. I'm just going to overlap the, uh, the uh, letters the characters if you like there good I'm now going to select them all and just scale pressing shift down to maintain aspect um, that looks like it's pretty good object group align them to the center of the image so that's looking pretty good you just want to double check where it's going to sit uh, in relation to the background image pressing alt now and just sliding out on the mouse I'm using a Mac by the way uh, rather than PC. So that's how it's going to sit in there, that's pretty good. So select, pressing shift and take it off um, the center, oops, off the center of the image there. Um, oh, in fact, no, sorry, control Z that. Um, take the whole image, so take the text, sh uh, pressing um, shift down and alt, create a copy, and then shift and alt down to make another copy, shift and alt down to make another copy and finally again shift and alt there we go okay so that's a list of the four we're going to need so if we select all these we're just going to ungroup them select 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 object ungroup there we go and now we just want to delete other characters so it will be pretty obvious um, <clears throat> what I'm doing after uh, I've gone through these and done a few, there we are, ends gone and then the last one, oops, wrong one, zero gone there excellent, just get rid of um, sorry, there we go, so we've got the images here, so N, E, O and N now select them both by just dragging the mouse across go to object, clicking, clipping, mask and make same for the other one. I'm not going to do any shortcuts, just so that you're clear where the menus are. Object, clipping mask, make, object, clipping mask, 
make, there we go, select the E, now pressing uh, shift, take it up to align with the N, and then select the O with shift again, N with shift again, get it centrally there, just zoom in, splendid. So that's just about perfect. Just going to zoom out again and take this object now, press Alt to create a copy, make it white, then go up to effects and stylize, uh, sorry, uh, blur, go to the blur, preview, take the blur up a notch, just see how it looks, yeah, that looks pretty good, okay, so there we now want to just undo these, so uh, sorry, un ungroup these, that's got rid of my effects, I'm just, I'm just going to effects apply the blur again, there we go. Now the other thing is just select them all and just arrange and send to the back. Now zoom, pick tool and then move that behind the N. There we go, move that behind the E, just making sure it locks perfectly behind the E and behind the O and then behind the N, that's it. Now select them both, so I've just clicked, dragged the mouse across um, and group those together, so object group, object group, and then the E object group, and then the N object group. Now starting from the back, select object arrange bring to front, Yo, object arrange bring to front, object arrange bring to front and finally object arrange bring to front so there you have that lovely light effect so let's just get rid of that and move group these together object group slide that across there okay uh, we'll have a look and see how that looks zoom in and that is pretty good. I'd say that's just about perfect as it sits in there. Just scale out a little, uh, zoom out just a little bit. Great. So let's take the background layer now. Now, I have cheated a little bit because I've created some layers at the back here author title, tagline, and top. So the, um, the background is now in that background layer, but the neon we need to put into title which is just above there and then we go to font and we put um, Steph Taylor as author go put you in there and just move the dot up so just select the dot at the side and it, it moves the, um, the text and changes the layer and we'll call it cyborg um, is it cyborg evolution evolution scale that up and just sit that somewhere in the middle okay and that wants to be tagline and then the top line we're just going to say the international best seller go just like that zoom put that somewhere up there put it in the middle okay so that's pretty good so what we just want to do now is change the so the we're going to select cyborg evolution and go to the pick tool just pick some color out of the um, uh, say for example the hair in there then I'm going to pick Steph pick tool and I'm going to pick the lips because I think that's a great colour and then that one again pick tool and just pick in the oops sorry I'm going to pick the colour from in fact no we're not we're going to go white aren't we there we are so that's that now then rather than just leaving the text there just select um, all of the text objects and then go up to effects and your blur again and this time drop it all the way down to the bottom and take it up to roughly 2, it doesn't have to be perfect, 1.7, there we go, preview, 
bit preview there we go okay and that just softens it makes it more takes it makes it part of the um uh the uh image behind as opposed to it being a very cold even sided uh text so there you go that's the um the image um as it stands now the next thing to do is create the 3d so very quickly um save that image as a cover and then go over to um, Photoshop. Um, in Photoshop, you're going to need um, an action. Uh, I've got another tutorial on this on how to load actions, but um, this they, these are from PSD covers. So we're just going to play this one from PSD covers. So if you visit, I think it's like PSDcovers.com. It's in the other tutorials, so go have a look. So we're going to play the first part of the action, which draws the template. Then we're going to go and pick the um, image itself is over there we are and then oops just drop the image on scale it to suit there we are accept that and then go to step two and play let the magic happen just takes a few minutes to um, to do all its clever magic and there you go so what was that less than 10 minutes um, oh bit of a tip for the image you want to scale the image down when you've taken it so go to your image size because it's massive um, take it down to a thousand or something and then um, uh, and then save it if you want to use that on your um, blog or whatever to promote the book what you might want to do is also just take off the background so go over to the layers tab over here layers menu rather than take off the background um, and that lets you um, well creates a transparent background and then you can export that as a PNG okay so that's done gorgeous um, uh, cover um, it's cost what you know seven or eight quid for the artwork and then um, 10 minutes of your time you can play around i've used white as a as a as a, a dividing sort of blur between the uh, the text but you can use anything also have a play around with the fact that in the middle here i've, I've used the same image um that's just sort of appears through the uh, the, the 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 characters you can you can use an image from something else um, or you can scale it and, and, and twist it, make it look like broken glass, do all sorts of things. Um, it's a great little tool. Okay, um, if you want loads more tips for writers, um, for artwork and, and story and structure, visit um, www.clickimagination.com. Um, please favourite um, and subscribe as well, just so um, we're encouraged and we know we're not just talking to, uh, to a blank computer screen. Anyway, that's it. Hope you um, learned something. Um, thanks for dropping by. See you later.